I owe you an apology. I shouldn't have... Oh. Shouldn't have what? Any. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. What happened between you and Brooke? Greenlee's best friend, the same one who jumped into bed with her fiancé, is also the one who drove her off the road. Kendall was the one that caused the accident? Yep. Wait a minute, Zach told the police that he was driving. He lied. Wouldn't be the first time he took the fall for Kendall to keep her out of trouble. He also managed to keep it out of the press. Wow, okay, well, I understand why Zach covered up. Why did you? It was a miracle in itself that Greenlee survived. I couldn't risk upsetting her with all their betrayals. She was still too fragile. Okay, but she's doing much better now. She's, she's back at home. She's back at Fusion. How long do you think you're going to keep this from her? <laughs> well, since Zach took Kendall out of town, the only other person who might tell her who she's had contact with is Erica. But I'm willing to bet that Erica hasn't even told Kendall that Greenlee's back from the dead. So tell me, Erica, what don't I know? I have no idea. And I have work to do. Damn it, tell me what the hell happened. Last chance to back out. Oh, no way. This job is right on time. I needed the distraction. Really? Mm -hmm. Boy, that kid you've been helping out is even causing some trouble? Yeah. He's pushing the envelope as far and as often as he can. I'm afraid if he doesn't... Knock it off, he's gonna self-destruct. You're going too fast. Okay, give me your phone. I will text Bailey whatever you want. There. Done. <laughs>